Never mind. I'm upside down. I don't know what to do. Hello? Can you hear?
Hello, Arvin. What's up, G? You right? Oh, uh, I'm actually supposed to have a dinner right now. That's why I was saying that I would be late, but I think it's better if I have the call right now with you, right? In front, man. Yeah. So, where's everybody? Why aren't you looking in front? Okay, so that's Remind. Oh, no, that's your MLS. Might make an accident, dude. So, what is today's topic? I know what I want to talk about. <laughs> I can't hear you. I don't hear you blocked. Uh huh. I don't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me, Gary? Yes, I can no. hear everybody. Awesome. Arvin can't oh. hear us. Arvin, it's you. You're on mute, you? I think. No. I'll text him. Mute. I'll text him. There you go. Start talking. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear us? Hello. I can't hear everybody. Can you hear us? I can't hear everybody. I, I can't have hear you. a solution for you, by the way. Your IDX issue? <laughs> How come I don't hear anything? Uh, Arvin, you it's check your mic. You check your. Am I blocked? You are blocked. No. I can hear Connie. I can oh, hear Arvin. Now talk. Okay, can you hear me? Ah, uh, you see. It's, it was you. it's called user error, dude. Don't don't be messing with my brains, man. It's my headphones. I knew it. See something. It, something was off again, just like before. It's a headset. <laughs> of course, not your fault, Orvin. It was a headset fault, right? It's user error. Don't blame me. It's user, user error. User error. Who's the user? Oh, All right. I know I'm blaming. So there, was, there was supposed to be more people coming on, but I've solved your problem for your IDX issue. Oh, good. I, w I have a Facebook group. A business page on Facebook, I would like to uh, have my IDX on it. Not your IDX, we're gonna give you something else. Okay. We're gonna give you a Remind to put that on it. So the link from Remind, you'll be able to put onto Facebook. I'm gonna test it out for you. Okay. So while you are doing this, I was, I'm expect, I was expecting a few others also joining in. I don't know what's going on with those guys. Oh, forget them. All right, I know that. Uh, Jim, Jim said he'll be out of town, so he'll listen to the recording. Yeah. Yeah, if they're not yeah. live. <laughs> if you're not live, you know, when people tell me, I'm going to be out of town and I'm, I'm going to have a so so Wi Fi, that's all BS for me. Exactly. I will listen to recording too. <laughs> yeah. I'll be out of town too for the next few weeks, just so you know, this is true, for real. Yeah, but you can still get online. It doesn't matter. That's how I look at it. But it's yeah, okay. I will try. It's it's it, it'll be the Philippines, so I have to check the schedule too, yeah, right? Even Philippines can make it happen. I've got a guy in uh, India that made it happen. So but it's a vacation. Come on, I'll see. I'll see. I won't promise. I don't go vacations. Don't give me a little. Okay, history. sorry. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to Arvin. He's a no-nonsense guy. I know. I won't say anything. I'll just. Leave. Just don't say so, anything. Just take it. <laughs> so settings. If you go to settings on uh, Remind, uh -huh. you'll, you'll get to the public homepage and custom URL. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done it, then you need to put your name there and create and accept it. You can copy the link. If I go to Facebook, let's see if I can paste it in Facebook and then. Hopefully you guys can use it there too. But what is it going to do? Is it going to create a link on Facebook or is it going to put the whole uh, IDX or like, like, a, like a search thing on my Facebook? Well, that's what, that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah, because you know, if it is a link to another page, people will not like it. I know they don't like it. That's... Yeah, they want to stay on Facebook. Any link for them. Yes. Yeah, okay, this one is not going to work. I'm try I was trying to get a landing page set up. This is Remind's landing page, and it looks like it's not going to populate yet. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to post it. Let me just see if I share it, what will show up. So, 
Actually, it does. It does show something. So you know what? There's a couple of ways to do this. Mm -hmm. You can take a picture and paste it on top of the picture, the link, and, and then post post the link. Are you hearing what I'm saying, Gary? I'm hearing what you're saying. I think that you're going to well, copy and paste it, right? Yeah, but put it on a paste or a Word doc and then put it in there, and I think it will happen. Because if you put it on the Word doc, Let me see that thing. Let me see. Uh, because this is what it's supposed to look like. Let me show you that. Hold on a sec. Oh, it's wet. This, this is the link that it's supposed to look like. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the link. This is the portal they need to sign up. And so once they sign up, they can start looking for properties through your remind and that's what it does it goes through your remind and then it looks for the properties there let me see if i can sign in and show you what i'm talking about login i know there's a solution for it it's not that difficult all right i'm logged in if I want to find properties, 92648, in that area, I'm finding Pahanian Beach, and there's the portal. So okay, that's the portal. How can I have that portal on, on the Facebook uh, business page? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Because <laughs> I know I've been asking the same question. It must be annoying you, but that's what no, I no, no. But you see how I pasted, <laughs> I pasted it here, and I'm trying to figure out how to activate. It doesn't show as good. Uh. That still shows more information. It doesn't do much. All right, so I need to figure this one out. Maybe I can talk to Remind and ask them to improve it so that way it can be posted on Facebook. Because right now, it's only a URL that you can use to give to your clients. And especially at an open house or even at a uh, door knocking. You can give them this. Okay. So, I'm listening. You can email the portal because once you copy it, it does it's copied from Remind, and this is where it's copied. Where the hell are you? you? See this part here? It copies it from this two boxes. I'm looking at it right now. Yes. So if I click on it, it will say copy. And once it's copied, you can then go and paste it at a different area on another page. And that's where it shows up. The portal opens up for you. And there's the portal. It shows me I'm already logged in right on top on the right hand side. It's, okay. work, it's workable right now, but later on, uh, I'll see if I can get more refinement going on. Because I don't have a 100% idea on it. Uh, okay. The website IDX you were talking about, if you go to help, data licensing, and there's your CRL MLS uh, IDX solutions. And you can click on here or how to access CRL MLS for solutions. You can click on that and there's a link. And it shows you everything that you need to know about it. It's all here. Okay. And they allow you to do that, so it's easy. It's not a yeah, I was reading to that, and I, and I try. They gave me a link. I put my uh, my you know my my uh, license number. They right. created three links for me so that I can put it on my website. Right. But um, I couldn't do it for uh, Facebook, and that's what you know most of the people use nowadays. Right. So I talked to the guy also. And so there's no such thing as for Facebook. It's only for web pages. I know. But you know what? I spoke to this uh, guy uh, from this company who tried to sell me the service. He right. said that he could put IDX to my web uh, Facebook uh, business page for a fee. And I said, no, I can do it for free. Now the problem is they're creating a double IDX. Mm. Okay. 
So what they're doing is putting a Facebook link that directs them to the IDX. So oh, it's wow. A, it's a double, it's a forwarding, uh, it's like a forwarding URL. So Interesting. If I have a domain name, if I go to GoDaddy, I can have the IDX forwarded to the domain name, the domain name and put it on wherever I need to. So like this one here, watch this. This is my free, uh, free home value. I, I know I probably showed you them. Three sixty five dot com. So what I've done is I took my uh, domain name, free uh, free home value three sixty five, and took the link from Cloud CMA and forwarded it to this uh, area. There's the link right on top from Cloud CMA. Right, that's your landing page. Right, but I, I'm, I'm just using the same scenario. Yes. The IDX can be forwarded to a landing page or your website or whatever portal you want to set it up for. That's what I'm trying to get at. Mm. Let's reverse the role. I can have the domain name forwarded to link up to the IDX. If you understand what I'm trying to get at. Okay, yes. So every time they click on your link, they will go to the IDX portal to open it up to do the search. I'd rather do it the easier way because we just remind to do the a better solution and remind will do the better job. Yeah, because you can keep an eye on what they do and how they do it. And if you look at this, this is where you can keep an eye on both buyers and sellers. This way you can tell them, hey, why are you looking at this property so many times? And it will give you all the information you need, the number of tours, tracking, shares, views. This way you can say, hey, you've been looking at this particular property so many times, how can I help you maybe set up an appointment for you to go and look at it? Make sense? Yes, it does make sense. Who's doing your website? I have a uh, chime. Because I know somebody told me Matrix has a way to do your website too. Yeah, uh, they, they, they came up with a lot of products and services that I'm not aware of, but it's very interesting. I have Chime who's doing my website. Um, right. They have a nurturing system. So it's very, it's very interactive. And since I'm paying for it already, you know, I don't mind keeping them. So the, my solution would be give them the IDX feed and tell them to set it up in motion for you. Maybe they can create a Facebook portal. No, the, uh, the things that my, um, the, the, my website do have uh, IDX. No, no, no. Huh? I'm talking of your website, guys, to build something that can be put on to and link to the Facebook pages. Okay, let me see if I can do that then. Because your main problem is on a Facebook page, you can have it embedded somewhere here, just like your photograph. Yeah. If they click on your photograph, then it should take them to that portal. But that way of forwarding, right? Like I was wondering, like the, the thing that this uh, guy, the other guy um, was offering the service, that uh, it's going to be right there on Facebook. It's kind of like, playing with, with, with an app within the Facebook page so that they don't have to be uh, redirected. No, I understand that. Uh -huh. and that's the same thing I'm trying to get at here. It's just another way. I'm just showing you a different angle. Mm. Maybe call him up and say, hey, what's the cost of it? Let me know. If he doesn't, then talk to your website. So how do you do it? And then link it up and maybe your website guys who made know it. Um, the guy who was offering me a service was charging $200 for, for a set of fee and $100 every month. Why $100 every month? Just to have the IDX on my place, but I thought that was over expensive. Just for something that's free on it elsewhere. Let me do a lot, a little bit more uh, investigation. I'll probably find out from somebody else. Uh, and the way that he's selling it, he said that nobody else is doing it. Only they can do it. And I said, BS. That's no way only you guys can do that. I agree on that. But, you know, the way he sold it is that only they can do it because they spend money on it. 
<laughs> have you Googled it by any chance? I'm sorry? Have you Googled it or YouTube it? I Googled it and I found another company who's offering for $20 a month. Hmm. And what do but they? But then again, the MLS is offering for free, so why would I even pay a dime? Yeah, but the MLS guys I talk to, they say only do website. I know. <laughs> that's the thing. And, and that's the same thing that the guy told me like, hey, you will do IDX on websites, but not Facebook. Only they can offer that service. <laughs> I mean, and it's a very interesting service. I mean, I liked it, but I'm not sure if I like it enough to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, the money, money issue. I mean, if I were to spend money on everything that everyone pitched me, I would be spending money every single day on everything. Right. <laughs> right. So, question for you. Uh, how are you doing with your door knocking when you're Um... I'm not doing a lot of door knocking. I have a bunch of leads I'm sorting off through. So I've been calling them, making sure that the phone numbers are working. Um, over half, half of the time, the numbers are not working. They are disconnected or they're a wrong number. Actually, where, over half of them are. Where are you getting the numbers from? Remind. So double check it with fast, uh, fast people search. It's too slow though for fast food uh, search. The, the thing I'm doing is I'm just dialing it, you know, and if somebody answers, I'm just looking for a person. Okay, so here's, here's something I want you guys to think about, and this is what I'm gonna show you. I've been putting this packet together for some of the guys that I work with. So watch, just, just listen up, shut your, uh, put it on mute, and, and I'll, clear, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I've got a feedback. I'm gonna put it on mute then. Yeah. So here's what I want you guys to do. If you've got a listing from, or if you've got some kind of a uh, setup with uh, Remind, then if you do your sales score for argument's sake, go on the high, and if you're downloading all these properties, once you download them, everything will be okay. So I'm gonna click on one property. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna zoom in. So say imagine this is the property that you've highlighted through sell uh, score. Click on the property. So here's what you have to print out. And this is very important, guys. Print this property profile out, number one. I've accidentally clicked on high too. So that's pretty good. So print this out. That's the first phase. Second phase, take the address and do a quick CMA using Cloud CMA. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna to go to Cloud CMA here. And I want you, if you, you guys should have been doing this already right now, it's having Cloud CMA. So create a report. You wanna do a quick and dirty. Uh, I'll give it a name in a minute. So this is the address for this particular one, Honey and Beach, let me get the address of the person. Here's the name of the people. It's in a trust. Whoops. Where are you? Cloud, there you go. Put the name and fetch listing. You should be now, because it's quick and dirty. So that's the second part I want you to print up. So watch what happens. Come on, hurry up. Okay, so you can print this up or you can shorten it and create maybe less than 10 uh, units. Go down to four. So if I say take out 760, 600, all the low ends, 700, 795, I'll leave. What else have I got here? 730 out, 785 out. So I'm down to five. So my pages won't be that much. So print, go to the CMA. And this is called the bomb. You guys want to create a bomb for your clients. So I'm going to use a quick CMA. And where are you? Quick CMA, publish. There's a little bit of changes on here, but just work with it. Go away, I said no last time to you. Okay, so here's the uh, item, print uh, the CMA. 
and double-sided. So if it's 13 pages, it will be like six pages double-sided. So print this out. Once you've printed this out, the next step you guys want to go to is zip forms. And what you want to do with zip forms is create a listing packet and print it out as well with the names and information and the address. Nothing else. Don't put a price up, nothing. This is the dirty bomb that you want to leave at the door store. They will get pissed off or they will say, you know what? Why did you leave me a contract? I'm not selling. I didn't say you are selling. If you were interested, you could review the uh, listing contract. And uh, when you are ready, we can actually then go forward and uh, do the listing for you. This is how you want to get in. You are more aggressive, but at the same time, it shows the person, hey, this guy know what he's doing, man. He's not messing around with me. So all you need to do is new, do your listing, new listing, and then put your address and everything. Create the listing and the two items that you want to set up with is on the listing packet itself. All you want to print is the listing part of it. Don't do the uh, cover sheet. So exclusive agreement, this is the one that you want to print out. And all you need to do is once you print it out, just fill two items out basically. The name of the person and the address. That's it. Once you're done, whatever, I clicked on the wrong stuff, but here's the address and then here's the names of the people. So this is out. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys should be familiar with this already and just leave it with them. If you want to highlight, it's up to you but you can highlight and have them initial your uh, seller's segment. You don't have to. My personal belief is, because you guys can highlight it. Will you do this? Nope. If I do that, highlight, there we go. You can highlight it from here too. You can create templates like this and get it going. Print as best as possible and make it happen because whatever bomb that you leave at that doorstep, it's going to get you one step closer to your listings. If you don't do it, it's not going to work. So if I don't show you a contract, you'll never know what a contract looks like. And that's what you're telling your client. So show them the contract. And if they are ready, maybe they may be in a the mood. They might have, you might have hit a person on a cancel property. You never know who you are touching bases with. So the whole idea is reach out to these guys and say, Hey, I'm the expert in your area, give me a call, all right? What's, what harm is going to uh, do to you? If you do at least five properties at a time or 10 a day, you, it's going to take you mileage, right? it's going to take you a long way. And if this is going to give you a lot more listings and you guys are targeting all the listings that are working with Remind. Because all the high, Gary, you've got high ones, that you are working on, you can just start nailing those guys. Make sense? Okay. So create a bomb, create a packet, and put it in a FedEx envelope. And you guys are ready to rock and roll because this will help you guys a long way. My personal belief is there's so much for you guys to do. You guys are not doing it. If you're doing this on a regular basis, I guarantee you there's a guy that works for Realty One Group in Anaheim and I started him slow this guy is uh, let me re rephrase it he's a dinosaur when it comes to computers but I just showed him all the parameters of what he needs to do he just goes out and door knocks 10 of them a day dude he's just killing it but if you guys want to take it up another notch and I'll show you something this is what I actually introduced him to He's spending some money, and if you guys want to spend money, you guys can do this also. That's the next step. Go to, this is a company called Bow Leads. There's an average price of five, $600. And I'm going to log in under Rudy's information. And within two and a half weeks, he's got 32 leads. These are all his leads. Okay. This is only his leads. Nobody else gets the leads. That's the beauty part about the system. So only he gets the leads. If people leave telephone... I'm sorry?
I would like to interrupt. Well, how do you define lead? I take everything. How do you define a lead? These are warm leads because they landed on his uh, landing page. It's a CMA landing page. So if I click on this particular person, watch this. It came from a social media. Look at the email, telephone numbers. Everything's there. If it doesn't have it, it will find it for you. If it runs, uh, it doesn't find it, then you can do it through fast people search at the last resort. But this system finds it for you ahead of stuff. There's so much to it. It can You can also send a CMA. Here's a report that it sent out. So this report can be printed out by you and look at what all this you can do with them. There's a CMA link set up. There's also notes you can put in. You want to send a text. You want to send an actual email. There's a lot of things you can do. It And while you're sleeping, this thing's also automated email drop. You see that? So this is a powerhouse, but if you want to spend money, then this is some one way to do it. And it gives you partial leads. He's already got a couple of 14 address captures. So if these addresses have come in, all you need to do is watch this. They only left the addresses, but this system finds the information for them. It finds how old they are, the telephone numbers, and if they had an email, it'll find the email too. But this is five, six hundred dollars a month. And it's a contract that you're gonna last long. But within a short period of time, you'll be starting to create listings. And that's the beauty of it. All right. So I'm just giving you guys some heads up, advance-wise. I can't train you anymore on the low-key items. I want to train you guys now on the advanced stuff where you're going to be able to make more money. Right now, you guys have been playing around with the low-key items. So it's all up to you guys. Tell me which way you guys want to go, and I can figure this one out. I've got two other people that came on board, and they're starting to use this, this system here. And if you notice something, look at this. It says Facebook. All these leads are coming in from Facebook. This is where it's been actually nurtured. Uh, Arvin, so these people actually sign up, volunteer the information through the landing page. Landing page of your CMA. Your CMA la cloud landing page. This is what the system is advertising on you. So if they spend about $300 of your money to uh, market on Facebook. So they do all the work for you. Every uh, the two hundred dollars or so that you spend, they are using it to actually do this work for you. And that's that's the whole game for it. But trust me, man. Within a month, look at the amount of leads. This guy just barely started. I've got another one, Ron. The guy's up to seventy-eight uh, leads, and that was just the addresses. He's got another forty-five, fifty leads that are solid like this and he's got a team of uh, players in his office that are doing it so make sense i don't know how to use well i know how to use chopsticks don't, don't show me chopsticks man i'm joking with you so make sense guys so here's the feedback for you guys this thing also has uh, CRM setup, so it actually also automates things just like Lion Desk. Only a few of my items that this guy can't do is uh, send out videos, which you can do it on your own. So there's a lot of different things that this system can do. If you click, click on edit, you can edit the address. You can make notes here, watch this. Put your notes in there. And if you want to know what notes you read or made, you just uh, put your mouse over that. And it says, I left a CMA on the porch. Nobody was home. So he makes notes as he goes. You can also do a follow-up system here. There's a whole lot to follow up. How many times you call them, what are you, whatever you've done with them. There's so much you guys can do. Even here, it tells you that which funnel it's coming through. So this is a powerhouse that uh, you guys can use, but it needs money to do the job. Pictures and everything is coming from Facebook. So just to give you a heads up what's going on, yeah? Basically, I think this is a 30 minute or 40 minute 
It'll tell us in a few minutes that it's going to kill us. But I'm going to keep it short. So just to give you a heads up, this is more of a technical stuff. And to me, it's, it's a powerhouse. So quite a few people are going on board. They, they can afford it. They're, they're going to go in. If you can't afford it, stick to Remind and do what I just told you. Get a couple of deals under your belt. And guess what? The next time uh, we've removed the 40 minutes time limit on your group, running out of time. Love it. They're going to give me a gift. I don't know what the hell they're doing. All right. So that's the that's game plan. Any other questions in the meantime? What's, what's your struggles right now? So this is called bowleads.com. Yep. It says 300 a month. No, it's about 600. Oh my God. But it goes by zip code. Jesus. And it's only your zip code. Like if you go to Zillow, you're going to end up paying for four people to call the same client. You only you have access to these leads. Nobody else. They don't sell it to anybody else. It's your leads. It's come through your portal. It comes through your CMA. That's it. So there's nothing else to it. But there's a lot of different things available to you. You can filter it out. There's so much you can do with the system. It's just unbelievable because look at the dates, information, everything funnels. It's all set up for you, man. All you need to do is use it. That's it. They also got training, video training. Here's the landing page. Here's the default seller landing page, and that's what it looks like. I think uh, Rudy chose one of these guys. I can't, you can even have a Spanish one, by the way. So there's a lot of different ways you can apply this. Yeah? What do you mean you can kind have of a Spanish one? It's got a Spanish landing page. Yeah. Do you see this one? That's a Spanish landing page. In Spanish, it's saying, what, do you, what is your home worth? You want to know that. It looks like French to me. That's, could be. That's it's French. French. Oh, my mistake, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> because, of the, because this is also set up for Canada, by the way. So it's my mistake. Sorry. French. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, this is from Craig's list. Actually, uh, not Craig's list. Craig's, uh, what do you call it? Craig Proctor. This is where the bowl leads. This is what I used to use when I used to do this stuff. So, so they it don't. For you, it generates a lot Arvin. of. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, go ahead, uh, Connie. Sorry. So, no, that's it. so what Connie was asking is how it worked for me. I did, averaged my first two weeks. I did five appointments, uh, three uh, listings, and one of them that was nine fifty. So wow. So it, it did pay off on its own then. Oh, it paid off pretty heavy because I was averaging yeah. about seven listings a month. Oh wow. That's crazy. With that, with boldies.com, you have a seven listings a month. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I have a question for you. It seems that like you are very knowledgeable. Craig Proctor, you mentioned a few times. So which system do you like best, Mike Berry or Craig Proctor? Well, let me put it this way. Who's the jerk? I'm sorry? Who's the jerk? Mike I have Perry. no idea. <laughs> so jerk rules? All right. I like... All of them, actually. I this Buffini, this Barino, also. So Mike Ferry is much more straight to the point, and yes. I can I can switch gears like Mike Ferry. And if I see and read the client and they say I don't want so much pressure, then I just slow down and I become correct practice style. If 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 there is a meeting or some kind of an event going on then I can change the mode and go into uh, Buffini style. If I do Buffini style, then I can take them into Mike Ferry or I can use Crack Proctor. Barino is uh, similar to Crack Proctor. Not much of a difference. But the problem is it's your style. I've combined all those styles. I have another guy in the past that was from first team also, and I use his style too. But that's how I handled seven uh, percent because he taught me how to use seven percent. Seven percent commission. Seven percent commission. Wow. Yeah. Okay, who's that? Huh? 
Who's that, Buffini? No, 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 no. This was somebody internal from first team. Who is that? Do I know him? Uh, I forget the guy's name, but uh, he's no longer with us. He's got his own business going on right now. Him and his wife were part of first team a long time ago in the 80s, uh, 19, no, 2001, uh, two, four, up to four. I never met. I only went to first team in 2015, so 16, so I don't know. <laughs> No, this was way before that. So, oh, wow. wow. Uh, I spent about $2,500 with him. And one stuff, one was enough to give me 7%. 60% of my listings were 7%. And you guys can. That's all... a different era. Nowadays, it's going to be tough. No, it's not tough. The problem is you don't know what, what to do. So, what's this? You guys haven't done it. I'm going to show it to you right now. So there's three houses as uh, a buyer's agent looks at it, right? Uh, I'm trying to find. Let's see if I can write. My place is a little bit more messy. I can't write. Damn it. All right. I'll show you something in a minute, so give me a second. Uh, a space B space D space C. Okay, so you got three houses. They all uh, are like to the agents that are actually going to show this property. So let me change this here. Oops, too big. Okay, so you got A, B, and C. The A property is uh, priced at 2.5, the B is 3%, and the uh, C is 4%. Gary, if you were a, a, sell, a buyer's agent, which property would you show first? Of course, they want a 4%. Ah, so if you give 4% and show that you need above asking price, and then these people that will see the 4%, they'll try and get the clients to give a above asking price. What you do is tell all the agents, your offer needs to be presented live at my office on five o'clock uh, five o'clock on Friday. So they all come to the office. First come, first serve, you bring them in with your sellers there as well. So Mr. Seller, here's the first agent. So what are we going to ask him all the questions or are we just going to go through a five minute spiel? So you're going to tell the clients, hold on a sec. So your clients are going to sit and watch. You're going to basically create an auction fever. This auction fever is all those agents them to come and present you for five minutes and get out and stand outside and wait for your answers. After everybody's presented, you can sit with your uh, clients and figure out, hey, let's give them a counter offer. You have your paperwork ready for the counter offer. Write up the counter offer and tell everybody outside, hey, this is the counter offer. Take it or leave it. You'll notice out of the five or whatever number of people, it'll come down to two or three people. And they will be on the phone with the buyers and saying, hey, Mr. Buyer, you really want this house? I think we, would, we should do it. Add another $15,000 above the asking price. Let's make it happen. So for the $15,000, they're only paying 1%. 1% of $15,000 is $1,500. So Mr. Seller, let me ask you this. If you're gonna pay me $1,500, but I make you $15,000, is that good or bad for you? Right? So that $1,500 is nothing, right? So, Mr. Salas, shut up. Let's do 4% and let's move on. Okay. Right. There's your I want to do, So, here's the other objection, though. What? I want to pay 4% to the other Asian, and I want to pay you, Arvin, 1%. Since not, it's still that I have to compensate the other better. You're not, you're not paying me. You're paying my uh, company. My company requires 3%. Oh. What right. do you, What do you want to offer the buyer's agent? The problem is when you say, hey, Mr. Seller, I'll only take so-and-so, then they cut your knees off. 
But when you say my company, your company is not sitting there with you and they can't answer the question. Can you take 4%, can you take 2%, 3%? They can't do that. So my company, by the way, Mr. Seller, my company requests that we do 3% for my company. That's the standard practice for my company. Second, how much do you want to offer on the other side to sell your home? How's that for a deal? You see where I'm getting it? This is now the technique you guys haven't learned. And you need to apply this and pull the bluff. Shut up and just tell them this is it. You'll notice they will sit back a little bit, wait. You talk and say, so what are you thinking? Don't even say anything. You shut up. I guarantee you, they'll say, oh, you know what? You're right. Let's try it. What's it going to cost you? 7%? The problem is the negotiation that's happening nowadays with 4% and that you're complaining to me about, it's the weakness of the agent. It's got nothing to do with what's going on in the market. When you go for a job and ask the new uh, employer, hey, how much are you guys going to pay me? And the employer says, I'm only going to give you $5. No, 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 wait a minute. You advertise $50,000. Why are you giving me $5? Are you going to go and work for them then? Even if they say, you know what, uh, 7%, I don't think so. Yeah, well, then what do you think is good? Let's, let's try three and give me three, and give three to the other side. I just met this uh, one um, seller. He said that his agent, he's expired by the way. Is charging her six hundred dollars. He's paying one percent to the buyer's agent. I went online to the MLS and I saw it. He's paying one percent to the buyer's agent for eight hundred fifty thousand dollar house. So you he, think he's going to sell that house? <laughs> no. I think he's banking that he's going to double end it with one of his own no. buyers. No, he's not going to do it. He's going to sit there for a while because nobody's going. You're not going to show the property. I won't show that. Why that show you? me the weakness of the agent? There's your problem. So don't stick to your principles. So here's the thing. If you tell me you're the seller and it's, you know what? Tell me 7% is no good. Go ahead. Gary. Yes, sir. Tell me the 7% is too much. You hit that for me. Hey, you know what, Arden? 7% too much. Forget that. I'm only okay. willing to pay 3% total. I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? As I told you, my company will take 3%. So you, you want to give 3% to the buyer's agent? Let's make it a total of 6%. Yeah, have us find the docs and let's get it over with. Well, the other agent, he's going to charge me $600. And he's going to pay 1% to the buyer's agent. I'll tell you what. You know what? Gary, have a nice day. Thank you. Can we <laughs> no. And then I, I start pushing my chair away. So if you notice I'm pushing my chair, at that point, the guy is going to say, what do you mean? I'm not giving in to you what you're telling me and dictating me. Don't, don't let the client run your life. Don't let the client run your business because that's what's happening now. So right. I, want, I want you to stand your ground and at this point, I want you to play the bluff and start walking. At that point, the guy's gonna say, you know what, this guy will have value and everything for me. I'd rather go with this guy because he's doing it right. The other guy is not. So, I'll cut your uh, legs off at that point. I have two choices. Either you're going to sign or either I'm going to walk. There's nine, 9 to 12 million people in Los Angeles. Take a pick how many you want to work with. Right. Stop fighting with this uh, one, uh, $800 or whatever. Mm. Tell them straight out, you know what? If you want results, if you want me to do marketing, you want me to do all the things that you want me to make sure that you are successful selling your home, I, can all, I, I have to take X number of dollars to make it happen. Is he going to do the same thing or not? I don't know. And as far as I'm concerned, good luck. Have a nice day. Use that two words, good luck and have a nice day. I guarantee you, you blow them away. At that point, the guy said, oh, man, did I make a mistake or what's going on? Trust me. Try it. Tell me. Come back and tell me. You know what? It worked. Maybe he signed with me. Or he didn't sign with me. All right. 
the boldness within you is going to actually show them, you know what? I don't stand for crap. You can turn that around. You know what? $800 or whatever, right? So here's something I'm going to tell you, Gary. So you know what? When you go and work for Apple, does Apple say, you know what? You only get $800, but we're going to make billions on you every time you work for us. Is that fair? How do you want me to handle yourself? What is he going to do for $800? Put it on the MLS. I can, any idiot can do it for, uh, put it on the MLS. I'm going to market your property on my Instagram, on my Facebook, all my marketing. And the worst part, this was an expired listing. It means that they tried already and yeah. it didn't work. And they're right. still they're trying to do the same thing with the same agent. Yeah, because they're screwing it up. So they, they're not understanding it, that they should have actually worked good. Don't give in to these guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So it's quarter to nine. This thing is going to cut us off right now. So I'm going to stop right now. And I think it's supposed to stop the recording too. So anything else before I let you guys go? No, nope, I want to check on boldleads.com. Check it out. Let me know if you want to go into it. I'll tell you how to set it up because tell them you're a crack proctor uh, agent and they'll give you a break. How much is a break? Uh, the setup fee is about $300 or $200 and they'll cut that out. Okay. And then the monthly, I don't know what the monthly, it will depend on your zip code. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. You too, man. Bye, guys.